Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Martin with Bellavoro Auto Spa, and we have got a package here. Uh, this is uh, from a company called another Mad Detailing Company. There's uh, a lot of companies called Mad Detailing. It's usually just the uh, abbreviation, usually the owner's name plus automotive detailing. Uh, this is from their car supply, I guess you could say, uh, detailing supply um, branch of the company, uh, Miko's Automotive Detailer. So a little bit of info on the company. Um, it's from Miko's Automotive Detailing. Um, I've known these guys for a long time. Uh, they're a local company here in the Austin, Texas area. Um, they do, you know, regular detailing, ceramic coatings, tinting. Um, I think they used to do PPF and wrap. I don't know if they still do. We'll have to check it out. I'll, I'll link the website uh, for both the products and for the services down below. Uh, so a little bit of history. Um, the two guys behind this brand, Michael and Michael, <laughs> but they're both named Michael. One Michael goes by Miko, the other goes by Mike. Um, they, uh, Miko is, Miko's the detailer of the company. Miko's been detailing professionally longer than I have. Um, we, we, we chat back and forth a lot about detailing stuff. Um, and then Mike, Mike is very good with marketing and things like that. And Mike's also, uh, Mike's a pretty big car enthusiast. Um, that's how we became friends with myself and Mike. Um, we, we're, we're a couple of car guys, so we, we hit up car events and everything like that. Um, but they wanted to go ahead and start offering products uh, because, you know, Miko's always out there detailing cars. Why not have products to sell to people? So, you know, he's got the products locally. They also sell them online if you want to purchase them online. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got here. Um, they did give this to me for free. Obviously, they wanted me to... Uh, Review the products, give my thoughts and opinions on it. Let me know. So, got a thank you card here, which is uh, pretty nice of them. It's got the information here. Um, that's the phone number if you need to get in touch with uh, Mike. Uh, Miko's phone number is probably on the website. Um, there's a thank you card on behalf of Miko's Automotive Detailing. Thank you for taking the time to. Sorry. Something distracted me. <laughs> Thanks for taking the time to uh, basically taking. Yeah. Anyways, I'm sorry. I'm getting really distracted. I've got ADHD, uh, but I appreciate the uh, thank you card in there. So we've got our two products bagged up just in case they leak. Emerald Suds Soap and Foam Car Shampoo. Pretty nice label. I like how they got the uh, the foil matching. It's a nice uh, satin finish. I love these type of labels. Uh, high foaming suds and that's the website mikosdetailer.com uh, instructions shake well before use i don't really think you need to shake a shampoo up but, you know just better safe than sorry uh surface should be cool avoid direct sunlight so this isn't really a direct sunlight friendly just uh, be careful washing it especially we're here in texas uh, use one to two ounces to five gallons of water so the foam can would uh, be one to two ounces to a full foam cannon we have a half foam can so we'll use one ounce wash the surface with microfiber mitt and then this is dry serve. Make sure you rinse the surface, obviously, and then apply diamond glaze. And then diamond glaze is their ceramic detail spray. Uh, very hydrophobic. Um, streaky. I mean, this this uh, should be pretty good. We'll see how it is. Um, and then there's the instructions on here. Shake well. Surface should be cool. You know, apply it to a clean surface. Uh, they recommend washing and decontaminating clay barring before uh, using it. And um, spray across the paint surface in a clean microfiber towel. Apply to a small section of time, flip, and muff away. So this is a detail spray. You can use it on the dry surface. You can use it on the wet surface. Just make sure it's clean surface or not super. If it's a little dusty, you know, this is for getting dust off. Make sure you shake it up. Get all the uh, SAO2 mixed up in there. Sent a sprayer. Nice. Uh, I do like these type of sprayers. They're nice premium sprayers. So we'll go ahead and get that on there. Perfect. And uh, include a microfiber towel. So that's nice. We'll use this to uh, apply the detailer. So first things first, car shampoo. We got the MJJC Foam Can S version 3, our super foaming cannon. We put about an ounce of soap in there. We'll foam down a section of the car. See how it looks. Need about an ounce of soap. I'd say that's about an ounce. Doesn't have to be exact. It's just, you know in the ballpark. The 
All right, nice and mixed in there. Let's go over to the car and uh, see how it is. Alrighty, so taking a look at the car, it is pretty dirty. Definitely needs to be cleaned. So we're gonna uh, foam down this side. We're gonna see how it works as pre-wash. Uh, we'll foam it on, rinse it off, and then we'll use it as contact wash. Now, obviously you can use this in a bucket. I like to just apply it with a foam cannon, but you do however you feel you need to do. All right, we got the foam cannon cranked up to max foam. Let's see how it does. All right, so we got a good, uh, nice sheet of foam. This isn't the thickest foam in the world. That's only with one ounce of product in the bottle. Now, if you want thicker foam, use more product. You know, kick it up to two ounces, three ounces, four ounces. Adjust to your preferences. Um, personally, this foam is this foam is fine for washing. There's nothing wrong with it. It may not be as visually appealing, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, put more more soap in if you want more foam. Uh, this this is going to get your car clean absolutely so i'm gonna let this dwell for a few minutes and we'll come back and rinse it off all right so the foam's clinging decently uh, it's been on there for about a minute we go ahead and rinse it off and uh, we'll reinspect and see how the car looks Cleaning potential wise, let's go in for a look. Oh uh, yeah, there's still dirt on there a little bit, a lighter layer, so less chance of you uh, scratching your car up when you're contact washing, right? So I'm going to go ahead and um, foam it back on, and then we'll uh, contact wash and see how the uh, soap is. All right, foaming it back down, and we'll contact wash it. Nice layer of foam there. I'm gonna grab my wash mitt and get started on here. Now you want to work your way from top to bottom, obviously. So start with the roof. And if this is boring to you, just feel free to skip through the video. Skip to the part that you care about the most. Doesn't matter to me. Ah. 
The other side, I like just kind of work my way around when I'm doing the roof. Now again, I've already I've been recording a bunch of content this morning with this car, so I've got like half of it washed right now. So rinse this off. Bye, dog. No dog saying hi. Literally everyone and everything. <laughs> Only one of them. The other one doesn't bark so much. I think it's because he's mixed with Great Pyrenees and they do bark a lot. Because they're uh, notably guardian dogs. Livestock guardian dogs is what they're bred for. So they love to bark to warn things that they are here. They are indeed here. So, yeah. Dog owners know. My other dog, he's a um, Newfoundland. Still a puppy, but he uh, he doesn't bark so much. Pretty laid back, so. He's like the spirit of my great, my late great name that I had reincarnated. This is super mellow dog. And we love him. Love both the dogs, obviously. If you got a dog, let me know in the comments what kind of dog you got. I promise I won't judge you too much if it's not a big dog. All right, got that cleaned. Let's rinse it off. So this car is ceramic coated, that's why you're seeing the hydrophobics already, the water beating and sheeting away. And uh, yeah, Miko does ceramic coating, so hit him up if you're in the area. Or hit me up if you're in the area. <laughs> if he does detailing full time, I don't, so he's going to have more avail better availability than I will, but you know. Now, at this point, you would dry the car off and apply diamond glazed. Now, I am a believer in using them as, it's a, since it's a detail spray, you can use it as a sealant. Um, but I'm going to apply it as a drying aid. I'm just going to add some lubrication as I'm drying the car off, reduce the risk of scratching and marring, and uh, add that protection. So let me go grab it, and uh, we'll get that applied. I'll show you how that's done. All right, so we got diamond glazed here. Let me go ahead and show it on this back door, because this works on and glass okay so get the whole whole car down so you shake it up uh bottle's leaking and have it twisted on tight enough but yeah shake it up <laughs> make sure your, your lid's on tight go ahead and give it a misting you don't need a lot a couple sprays into the towel and now, normally you do this with a drying towel. You can do it with really any microfiber, though. So you go ahead and just protect as you dry. So that's basically what this is. And I know a lot of my viewers, you guys are like, yeah, we already know this. Um, but this is for uh, people that may be just visiting the brand. Anyways, you flip to a dry side after that. Buff. You'll feel the slickness. The difference, if your car is not protected, immediately after, you're left with a nice, dry, protected surface. Now, with diamond glaze, with any ceramic spray, 
you want to make sure to, um, you can spray it with water immediately, but I always say give it about 24 hours to fully cure and you're going to get the best performance. So I can show you real quick. Now again, this is ceramic coated, but we should have had a boost of protection for it. See, water is uh, repelling much faster, but if I let it cure for at least a day, it's going to be even better. So that's the trick with ceramic products. They get better as they cure. Let's go back to the table for our final thoughts. So there you have it. We got uh, emerald suds and uh, diamond glazed. Pretty good products. Decent soap, decent uh, detailer. Going to get the job done. It's going to do what you want. So definitely be sure to check them out, especially if you're in the uh, Central Texas area. Um, you know, supporting small businesses, always a good thing. It's what we like to do around here. Um, but yeah, Mike and Miko, hey, good, good products, good job. Uh, hopefully your uh, brand continues to see success. But that's all I got for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and make sure you subscribe to the channel. And uh, I'll post links to their uh, Miko's detailing site and their uh, product site as well. But I will see you all in the next video. Keep them clean. Have a good one.